out. So I really want to plan how I want to attach the D-rings or the webbing. Uh, I know that I want to go along the seam, so I'm just going to fold this so the seam lies flat. And then luckily there's also a line down the front here where the seam is as well. So first I'm just going to pin where I've tucked the webbing under. You could always unpick the collar and then sew it down there, but uh, that's going to be a pain. I just really don't want to do that today, um, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to start threading on my D-rings to kind of get a rough idea of what I'm thinking of this. And then the space in between each D-ring is like an inch, so that makes sense. So the top seam here will always be about will always be two inches from the bottom seam. And the space in between the two seams of the D-ring is going to be one inch. I'm going to continue to do this on the both sides of my straps. I have everything pinned down, I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and just sew where I have all these pins. So either side of the D-rings, kind of shifting it out of the way for each one. Um, and to make sure that these weird loop bits stay in place, I'll also do some stitches in between them as well. Um, so let's go over to my sewing machine and do that. this interesting and I'll say a big thank you to Disposable for continuing this collab series with me. We call it the, the recreation because not everyone can afford to buy things. I'm not sure how much this top was but I believe it was around the 30, 40, 50 pound mark. And my boyfriend owns one very similar that he got from Queen of Darkness for around the 60 pound mark. Um, this only cost me a tenner to make and it could cost even less depending on the suppliers you already own. But I hope you guys enjoy it, I hope you found it interesting and informative and if you guys have any requests for videos that you want us to do you can send it to myself, Radically Dark, or you can send it to Disposable. Uh, we often kind of put forth videos we want to do and take a vote on them. Sometimes we're kind of like what on earth are we going to do and someone's just like hey let's just do this and we just throw it in. Um, but I got to choose this week's DIY. We do do this once a month so stay tuned for the next one and stick it stay tuned. Definitely give us a like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified when I post which is three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays and don't forget to go check out Disposable um, and say hi for me, say off on my channel. So stay safe, stay dark and I will see you guys next time. Bye!